My name is Philip Langston. I'm Nancy Langston. This is our dog, Chella. And uh, we started our farm here in 1991. Uh, we built our greenhouse originally in 91. It's a half an acre, so it's 21,600 square feet, um, doing mostly hydroponic vegetables. In the greenhouse, there's not a lot of chemistry for uh, pest control that's registered for greenhouse use. So it almost steers us down the organic avenue. So we actually are, are organic by necessity just because there's not a lot of chemistry for us to be able to use in the greenhouse. And it just gives you a cleaner, um, more acceptable product at, at market. Uh, we grow a red slicing tomato that's a French variety called Cobra. Uh, we have a large yellow um, tomato that's uh, the German stripe, and that's an heirloom. And then we also have uh, the Cherokee greens, which is a, a green ripe tomato, which are very pop popular. Um, we always say that the, basically the tomatoes are what pay the bills around here. Uh, but and, and also we have the lone oak olive oil, and mm -hmm. that's um, available at uh, Big Sky. If you ask for bread and oil at Big Sky, they will bring you a bottle of our oil. And um, we also sell it through the crushed grape in San Luis Obispo. We chose um, four varietals from that trial, and that's what we planted out on acreage here on the ranch. So we have 650 trees currently on four acres. Uh, we have uh, Tagasca and Frantolio, Lechino, uh, some Pendolinos for um, pollinators, and a little bit of Molino out there also. Four types of basil. Uh, we have our, um, our sweet basil, which is the Genova. Uh, we grow a large-leafed, lettuce-leafed basil called Napolitano. Uh, we have a lemon basil, which is a very nice, uh, strong lemon flavor. And we also grow a um, purple-stemmed um, uh, Thai basil, which is very spicy. And I'd like to t talk about what extra virgin olive oil means. And it's especially important um, here in California, because California has the California Olive Oil Council, and they are in charge of certifying olive oil as being extra virgin. And what, that, what extra virgin actually means is free of defects. When it goes to a taste panel, because we'll harvest our olives, we'll make oil, we actually have to send oil into the panel, they'll taste it, and there's five defects that they're looking for. So there's rancidity and fussiness, which is when the olives ferment before they're processed. Um, so the panel will go through and they'll taste the oil, and if they find it free of defects, it's considered extra virgin. If they pick up a defect in it, say the olives um, had fly damage or something, it'll leave kind of an earthy taste to the oil. You'll get graded down to virgin oil and then so on down the list. So you'll get dropped grades as they pick up multiple defects in your oil. So extra virgin means free of defects. Doesn't have anything to do with first pressing. Doesn't have anything to do with cold pressed oil. It literally means free of defects and that can only be determined by a taste panel. So that's why you look for a seal on your oil that says certified extra virgin by the California Olive Oil Council. And that's when you know you're getting high quality olive oil. And we named it Lone Oak Olive Oil because there was one oak tree out in the middle of the field all by itself and everybody was standing around saying, what should we call the olive oil? I'm going, you guys, this is like a, a given here. There's a lone oak right there. So that's why it became Lone Oak Olive Oil. And it's really rewarding. I mean, I love working baby plants in the nursery. Um, if you need to get away from things, you go out in the olive orchard and you kind of, you know, walk through the olive orchard and do irrigation out there. And you can just kind of be a million miles away in your head. And it's just, it's just the most rewarding work mm -hmm. you can possibly do. And it's just like a dream come true. Absolutely.